Iceberg has been out in the Portland metro area all morning long. And uh, Brent, where are you right now? Hey, good morning, you guys. We are still at I-5 and Barber Boulevard, but we've moved up the ramp uh, to Barber Boulevard is right there. You can see this uh, guy right here in the uh, orange jacket. Well, his semi truck will step a little bit over here. You can see it right there. That guy, that semi, has been causing so much problems for this ramp here because it was stuck. He was able to back it down into the ditch earlier this morning to open up the freeway. And despite having chains on and everything, he can't get out now. So what we have here are these two pickups who are trying to do some sort of caravan. I mean, I don't know what these guys are doing, to be honest, but uh, they've got one uh, pickup hooked up to another, and then the back pickup there is hooked up to the semi. And just before we came live here, they all kind of accelerated at one moment, and I mean, that is... A I don't know, that's a big semi, and I don't know if it's fully loaded, but uh, when they were trying to uh, gun it and accelerate, nothing happened. I mean, the semi didn't move, uh, the two cars themselves, pickups were just going back and forth, uh, and really nothing was happening. You can see right now they're in the process of uh, kind of chipping away at the uh, snow and ice, uh, but some aggression, definitely. Uh, you know, people are frustrated about being stranded here. As we zoom out, you can see this car right here and just one of many that have actually uh, been stalled here and we're gonna have the Kathleen Spencer swing the camera around here here's another car and then you can see this woman right over here walking uh, with looks like a little it it's a walking little stick there but uh, just up and down Barber Boulevard just tons of people who have uh, abandoned their cars not too long ago we saw Oregon Department of Transportation on Barber Boulevard uh, plowing and de-icing uh, so you know they are out there they can't be everywhere they have their high priority routes that they get to first um, you know we saw them on the interstates and they were out here along uh, I-5 northbound at Barber Boulevard uh, for about 45 minutes earlier this morning just closed down the highway going back and forth up and down with their uh, plows their de-icer and their gravel trucks and that uh, really did do a great job on the highway for a while it kind of looked like this there's just this big chunky mess here uh with all the like just the debris and everything and that wasn't helping anybody but once they were able to get their crews in there it was you know it, you could see the blacktop for once and that was just really uh, a good sight to see for all the drivers here so as i just glance over my shoulder just checking on well whatever we've got over here uh you can see one of the cars starting to back up one of the drivers just got in, so maybe we'll see some action here. Oh, yep, looks looks like they're going to try this again here. Let's see what happens. So looks like uh, it doesn't look like the cars are actually chained up. Looks like they're actually uh, allowing some of the cars uh, that have uh, taken the Barber Boulevard exit from I-5 northbound to pass, and you'll see those cars coming around the bend here just in a little bit. We talked to an Oregon State trooper uh, earlier this morning live here on Coin 6 News and he was saying that conditions are still just really treacherous out there right now uh, despite the fact that Oregon Department of Transportation has been doing their best. Uh, so hats off to those crews who have been out overnight into this morning out plowing, de-icing and putting gravel down onto the road here. Uh, but they still say it's been very difficult for uh, a lot of drivers out there if you are on any of the state highways, state roads in the Portland metro area, you have to have your chains on. And the reason you have to have those chains on is because there is still that layer of ice underneath all of that snow. So when you're driving out there, if you don't have your chains on, it, despite the fact that you may have four wheel drive, it's that you're just get a lot of people are getting stuck. And that example of a semi right over there is a perfect way to show you just how treacherous it has been. There's a TriMet bus uh, going up Barber Boulevard right now. Uh, and we've heard of some delays of TriMet earlier this morning. It sounds like things are slowly getting back to normal. I gotta say though, uh, the temperature, it's kind of a, a beautiful day. I feel like I'm at a ski resort right now. I wish there was a chairlift that I could jump on to a ski, uh, ski run right now because it just kind of feels like the perfect ski day. Uh, we have some pockets of blue out in the sky. Uh, so if you are going to be heading out, 
bring your sunglasses because uh, we've been out here all morning long and when we do get those pockets of sunshine it is re it's really reflective uh, and if you're a skier snowboarder you know how important it is to have your goggles out there uh, we've got one gentleman over here hey sir is your car down here no, uh, I saw that one on on the news and uh, so I just work here at the covered suites gotcha. Um, so saw that they needed help, and I'm helping out. We, Got heard, shovels. we heard earlier that your hotel uh, quickly booked up yesterday because of the totally, weather. Totally booked up last night and tonight. Um, all these people are stuck, and they don't have anywhere else to go. Gotcha. Describe what people are saying when they were getting to you guys uh, last night, just stranded on the highway. Uh, they were stuck. They didn't know what to do, and totally unprepared. So you guys are booked up again for tonight? Yeah, tomorrow night we got uh, we got rooms, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it is a crazy historic storm. So it sounds like you're going to be helping out some folks with uh, the the uh, shovels there. Uh, um, so I can show you guys down there right now at that semi. What's happening right now is uh, they are trying to make some sort of uh, path for the uh, wheels of that semi to get out of here. Uh, and again, this semi has been here, ah, gosh, we got down here in uh, Southwest Portland around seven o'clock and uh, that semi driver there in the uh, orange jacket, he was uh, definitely having a, a rough time there, trying to put on the chains, kind of in a weird, precarious position. Uh, but then here's this employee from the uh, nearby Comfort Suites here in southwest Portland bringing down some shovels and stuff. And uh, much relief, uh, it sounds like, to the, uh, the people. Look at this, uh, this uh, pickup right here. It's got chains on every single one of its wheels. All four wheels are chained up here on this car. So uh, presumably that driver not having any problems. So that is the latest from uh, Southwest Portland. Uh, if you have heard uh, from Oregon State Police, this is a good example. We won't zoom in because it has that person's phone number on it. But if you do have to ever abandon your car, which is absolutely the last thing you should do but Oregon State Police says that if you do ever have to abandon your car to make sure to leave your name and phone number and kind of your approach to the situation on your dashboard so troopers can uh, assess the situation but again they say you should never abandon your car it's a very dangerous situation especially at night we heard uh, people walking on the Sunset Highway last night after abandoning their car and I can't tell you just how dangerous that is out there when it's dark snowy visibility is reduced so hopefully uh, now that uh, the snow has stopped here in southwest Portland, things will slowly get back to normal. Ken and Jenny, we'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks, Brent. Uh